the fifth attempt in this final. We're bringing you live coverage of the Commonwealth Games from Birmingham 2022. It's the men's long jump final. Taking a quick look at the start list on your screens. 12 long jumpers in all in this men's long jump final. Two Indians in the fray. There is uh, Mohammed Anis Yahya and most importantly, Sri Shankar. Wasn't quite there. Trying to get the crowd amped up for his very first attempt. Mohammed Anis Yahya. Oh, that's a brilliant attempt from the young Indian. Take another closer look, use the runway well, but I think he's just probably overstepped. He's just overstepped on the takeoff board. Oh, well over. Yes, um, it is a, a red flag, I'm afraid. Only 23 years old, Murli Sri Shankar, looking to win India's first goal. Long jump. Ranked seventh, remember, with his performances in that uh, World Championships in Oregon. Just earlier, a week ago. His first attempt, is that going to be good enough to get him into an early lead here? I think it looks like he's got that 7.6 mark. Oh, well behind. Look to time that better, but uh, for explosiveness, that was uh, quite impressive. Yes, 7.6, but I think he could have very easily added another 20 uh, centimeters to that. Like to take a look at that takeoff point again before the landing. Take a look at this. Where was he on that uh, takeoff board? I think he could have used that a yes. little better. I think he would be happy with that. Much better attempt, perhaps his uh, best. Have to wait and see. Yes, 7.65. His first legal attempt. A little bit of wind helping as well. Currently in eighth position with that first attempt of 7.6 meters. And this is much, much better. There are two things that you look at the lift. When you're in your runway stride, a couple of things that you look at. One is the kind of momentum you carry in to that takeoff point. It's much better in the air. As we get the confirmation, a little bit of wind as well, 7.84. from South Africa, Jovan van Kuren. Oh, that's a monster lead. Take another look at this. This is the hang style that Som was referring to. It's not the hitch kick, but the hang, and he's got a fantastic jump in here. He's used the board perfectly. Used the board perfectly. Just one centimeter left before he would have overstepped. Got the momentum and he's got the jump of 8.06 meters. That's going to put him in top spot. He's the leader now. 7.94. That's been his uh, previous attempt. I think he's just gone close to that 8 meter mark. Maybe not enough to put him in the lead, but definitely bettering his previous jump on the first uh, site, that's what it seems. 8.08, he's in the lead. He has jumped over 8 meters, his personal best this season, 8.15. Oh, not Anisha here, well off his season's best. I think the takeoff was good. It's the landing that might have cost him maybe up 
about 15 centimeters there. Take another look at this. It's a good takeoff, but not able to complete the entire rotation on the hitch kick as he went in for the landing. Look at this. He's not been able to complete that full rotation of the back leg, and that's why he's falling backwards when he's landing. Yes, 7.72 confirmation. Murli Sri Shankar, the 23-year-old from Palkar. How close was that to the 8-meter mark? Maybe that 7.85, 7.9 range. Again, he could have used that takeoff board a little better. We'll take another look at it here. Absolutely, 18 centimeters to that foul line. That's the distance that you could probably add if you use that takeoff board better. But the landing was fairly better, definitely much better than what we saw from uh, Yahya. Certainly had a lot more confidence and uh, a little bit of uh, 7.84. Not happy with that. So now you get a confirmation of the standings of this men's long jump final. The way it stands after three jumps, it's Lachuan of Bahamas who's clocked the best distance so far, 8.08 meters. Athlete placed eighth. Now we'll run for that fourth attempt first. Oh, did he overstep? That's the first question to be asked. Let's take a look at it on the replay. And he's falling backwards, he's falling behind on the landing. So great uh, use of that uh, takeoff board. Yes, using his left foot to take off there, hitch kick. Just perhaps a little unbalanced. And the high knee lift. Well, the jump distance is good. The first thing to check, though, is where was the foot on the takeoff board? But I think this this is the problem. That's the worry. That's why I pointed that out. That the first thing to look at was where was that foot on the takeoff board? He wants to review it himself as well. Does uh, Murli Sri Shankar? Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Look at that replay again. You see. Yes, he's saying it's a millimeter that's cost me. To leap into history in his fifth attempt. How good was that? His previous best has been a 7.74. This is his fifth attempt. Concentration writ large on his face. He knows this is a very important attempt, the fifth attempt in this final. And that is a fantastic jump from Murali Sri Shankar. It's well before the foul line. Yes, he had another four centimeters on that runway. And I tell you what, the beauty here is the landing. Look at how he's propelled himself forward just as he's landed to ensure. Look at the cheer that's gone up. And I think this is brilliant because he has moved into the second position. 8.08. That is the distance. It's equivalent with what Laquen of Bahamas had clocked earlier as a distance. One more goal. That is a monster jump, but the question is, did he overstep? I think that's, a, that's probably the best jump that we've seen from him tonight. Yes, 7.97. That's the best that he's jumped tonight. Close to that 8-meter mark, and you can see his reaction. 
on his final attempt. How good was that from Murali? It's a red flag, he's overstepped and that means silver it will be for India's Murali Sri Shankar. It will be gold for Laquain and he's celebrating. Remember both these athletes had clocked a distance of 8.08 .08 meters, but it's the second best jump of Murali Sri Shankar, which was 7.84. That's lesser than Laquain's 7.94. Just two centimeters over on that final attempt. The athletes have for each other as uh, Laquan then the gold medalist from the Bahamas. Celebrates, but India's Murli Sri Shankar, the 23-year-old from Palakkad, Kerala, has done India proud. He would have wanted a gold, but India will settle very happily for a silver medal. He scripted history. The first male long jumper from India. Murli Sri Shankar's fourth jump. There was also Suresh Babu jump. with a medal as well. The top six in the men's long jump. Kwan Nen with the gold medal. Sri Shankar did not have the second best jump. Was a, it came down to the second best jump. Kwan and had uh, clocked in at uh, 794, but his sixth was also good enough to win him gold at 798. Murali Sri Shankar had to go past that uh, and the bottom. Asian Junior Athletics Championship 2018 medalist. Teen Bar National Champion. National record holder. एक खिलाड़ी दुनिया के किसी कोने में हाथ में तिरंगा लेकर के दौड़ता है, सारे हिंदुस्तान में ऊर्जा भर देता है। केरल के यक्कारा में जन्मे श्री शंकर ने छठी क्लास में लॉन्ग जंप का स्टेट रिकॉर्ड बनाने के बाद इस खेल को अपना मिशन बना लिया दर्जनों मेडल भी जीते लेकिन 2018 में वो कॉमनवेल्थ गेम्स में भाग लेने से चूक गए इन 2018 आई हैड अ बीमारी से उबरने के बाद भारत सरकार द्वारा टॉप्स प्रोग्राम के अंतर्गत अपनी ट्रेनिंग को जारी रखते हुए श्री शंकर ने शानदार कमबैक किया और 2021 के फेडरेशन कप में 8.26 मीटर की जंप लगाकर अपना ही नेशनल रिकॉर्ड तोड़ दिया और टोक्यो ओलंपिक्स के लिए क्वालिफाई भी किया ओलंपिक गोल्ड डेफिनेटली इट मींस लाइक अ ड्रीम फॉर मी व्हिच विल सर्टेनली कम ट्रू आई वुड रियली लाइक टू थैंक गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया स्पोर्ट्स अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया टारगेट ओलंपिक पोडियम स्कीम फॉर व्हाटएवर दे हैव डन they have provided me with the best uh, training atmosphere. With their help, I was able to uh, stimulate a greater training atmosphere back at my home also because it's perfectly working for me. Tokyo Olympics ki taraf apni lambi chalang laga chuke Shri Shankar Murli hai. 130 crore bhartiyon ki Olympics ki aasha.